What's up, everyone, and welcome to my official road to SSL. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking two things. One, what a crazy idea for a series. I know. Thank you. It's, it's, it's one of my most original video ideas yet. And number two, you're probably thinking, Luke, you're already one of the most mechanical and smartest and overall best players out there. <laughs> All jokes aside, what you're probably thinking is, Luke, have you even been SSL yourself? And you're right. I haven't. I am peak GC3, but recently I've been playing with a lot of high rank players, playing with pros, and I've been told that I can make it there. I'm going to try to bring my unique lens as not a pro and more of a coach. And hopefully, regardless of what your rank you're at, uh, by the time we get through this series, you'll have learned a lot about not just like the tips and stuff that I talk about all in, in all my other videos, but the actual tactical stuff like in-game scenarios I could break down for you guys. Also, if you're new here, my name's Luke. When I'm not making YouTube videos, I run Rocket League's number one one live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. Inside the GCR, we take plat through champ ranked players up to Grand Champ or even SSL in just six weeks or less. At the time I'm recording this, we have, I think, over 140 seats taken up of 150 for this next launch. So if you want to get on this next group before we sell out and we go on pause until November, I believe it is, DM me on Discord with the keyword road and we can talk details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, let's start this new series. I'm excited. Rules for this challenge are we're going to do, I'm allowed to use whatever mechanics chat agrees, which chat never agrees, so we'll see how this goes. Whatever mechanics chat agrees, I'm allowed to use as I go through the ranks. I'll try to like, kind, you know, I'm. the goal is that it's supposed to be educational, right? So we're going to go into twos, and the goal is not that I'm just, you know, like farming people. The goal is, the goal is obviously for it to be educational. We've got Woeful. And Danfell is a 200 MMR player. And these guys are queued. They might be split screening. I don't know. So I'm going to assume if you're plat, you don't really know what to do here. I would just wait in that. Wait for the ball to come. Wait for the ball to come. Turn ball cam off. Get scored on. Oh, my bad. Can't be speed flipping like that. All right. So just drive to net here. Wait for him to shoot. He doesn't have an angle. Back up. Turn around. Wait. You should check if the guy upfield is coming and just back up into net. Now here I could score that, but you know, I'm going to assume that you're not quick enough to recover. So just rotate really wide back post and just sit and wait. When your teammates in front of you, you don't know what's going on. We're just, we're just waiting here. Not using any boost, not doing anything really just waiting. And now that I see him going and get a flip into it and beat one. Check where the play is. It's over my head. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm just behind my teammate. My teammate's in front of me. I'm back here. He centers the ball. I can get one touch. And now I just drive in a straight line. That's allowed, right? Okay, we cool. We cool. This is this is this is terrible. You're a bad person. You're you're right, but also hopefully this helps one person get out of the rank that deserves to get out and in that case the the karma will be equal right i don't know maybe i might just be a terrible person for this that's okay the content there have been worse things done for content okay so ball's gonna roll up the wall we'll wait here teammates in front once again at the low ranks if your teammates in front of you you just sit and you wait because if they center they're probably just gonna hit it right to you Exhibit A. Oh, wow. He saved that. I did not expect that. We can kind of just wait back here. Like, your teammate's often going to be leaving you in 2v1s, and that's fine. These people don't really know how to score. So if you just wait back in that, you can usually just drive at it and get it clear. That's the, that's the key. Your teammate's in front of you. Just do circles. It's incredible. This You could actually just win games like this. The ball's awkward. You just back up. Worst comes to worst, you jump up and you flip into it. Bag it up. Wall hits are hard. Oh, 
I get bopped. Back it up. Get to the back post. Drive up. Here, it's kind of speculative. He's going. There are a lot of people. Turn around. Just do, just do this. Don't, don't even, don't even try. Just keep conserving boost, and just wait till it's clean, free, and safe. Honestly, I'm even too close. I'm gonna back up. Here, he's kind of pushing. Just gonna keep backing up. Get a 50-50. Great. Now the ball's coming. If I can, I'm going to boom it. Wow. How is he saving this? Is this guy? What? Okay. Okay. In any case, there's way back. Flip. Be clear. Get bumped a lot. Hold power slide whenever you, whenever you land for a clean recovery. And here I'm going to boost back to get there in time. Turn. Bump on my teammate. Grab the boost. Hit it around. I can't hit this. I'm plat. I still can't hit this. I'm plat. I can hit this, though. That's a fair shot. And then the ball's over me, so just move all the way around and get back to the net. Can't really go that fast because I'm plat. Can't really read that because it's kind of too high. Just going to wait. Nobody's really back here. So it's kind of safe for me to go. Hit it over there. And my teammates stacked right behind me. But it works! Let's go! I feel like... Should I be allowed to use front flips on kickoffs, guys? Or you just want me drive challenging everything? Should I just be drive challenging everything? What do you think? Drive challenge everything? Just drive challenge. Yeah. This guy's hitting it over. Get it around. If I'm a plat, I probably can't hit this. That's probably the best I could do. Fair. Post. Said so take the shot. Can't say that. Unsavable. I'll start aerialing soon. I'll start aerialing. Plats can flip into that. Chase down this ball. Get a hit. Gonna plat double jump aerial this. Gonna plat do that. All right, the key here is just move back. When the ball goes high like that off the kickoff, you just move back. Now notice how my first couple touches are gonna go. I'm gonna play the ball across. And because it's on an angle, he doesn't get a good 50. And they just kiss each other, so. Daniel's gonna clean it up. Danifel. How are we winning this? I don't know. We're just gonna do the drive kickoff. In diamond, we will level up our kickoff. And that's the game. Two and O. Oh. Two and O. Oh. Lessons for that video are, I don't know. Wait back, wait back post, and just stay, just stay behind your teammate. And you will rank up. All right, game number three. To the second real game. The second real game. And I think we have a silver. Are, this, are these silvers? 383, 425? These guys are silvers, right? Not bad. Let's see. Let's see. So we're going to do the drive kickoff. Just flip into the ball. And immediately after kickoff, go for boost. Get behind my teammate. Who is sitting in net. Okay, he's sitting in net, so I'm going to drive at the ball. I'm just going to continue to drive at it. I got to get back, use the boost. Wide around the play, so that way I can flip into it. Don't panic. Don't rotate near post. Don't get, don't get caught up. Just wide rotation. Everybody's slow at this rank, so just wide rotation, and it's just free. It's literally free. I don't get a lot of great passes. That, I appreciate that. We're gonna go back for boost in here. Once again, my teammate's up, so just wait, 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 wait. Ball's gonna come off the center. It's kind of bouncing, confusing. He's still hitting it. I'm just gonna wait. I can kind of jump to block his angle, and I'm just totally waiting here. Now, when I hit this ball, I'm not gonna boom it into their corner, because corner is actually pretty safe overall. If I had that ball, I'd wanna take it to the center, but here he's kind of going. I'm kind of last man back, so 
I'm just gonna grab my boost, get around the net, get in front of the net, and now we're safe. We can't get scored on, right? Same thing here. I don't know if he's going. My teammate wants to go, so let him throw it. And we're just gonna be the one back at all times. Here, there's no real point to go. He could clear this. He could just miss. Since he missed, I'm gonna grab his boost and turn around. It's kind of hard to hit as a plat, so just keep taking my wide rotations. Shot might be coming, so just keep driving around. And control the boost. Here, I see him coming. Just gonna jump, get a 50-50. Now my teammate does have an open. This guy's confused. So just back up. Don't put yourself in the awkward situation with everybody else. Be the one really far back, so that way you could drive in and boom the ball. That's no, not the touch, but still, you get the idea. Like half of plat, like I honestly think getting out of plat is just waiting back and just not going. Like every plat just wants to jump for that ball. Just don't jump. You want to jump there? Don't go. No reason to go. You just wait. The ball goes there. It's not threatening. You go around your net and you wait in the center. It's not in the net. You just go around. And then eventually you just drive in a straight line and you get free goals. My teammate should score this. I'm in this rank. I air dribble and ceiling shot. I can also musty. That is unfortunate. I'm sorry you're in this rank with all those mechanics. Something must have happened. Like, see, like that's, that's the guy who just commented that. That's him. That's you. You're that guy. Don't be that guy, man. Nobody likes that guy. Can a plat flick? Flick! <laughs> okay. We're gonna keep doing the front flip kickoff. Is that just in? No, he's gonna clear that. Okay, ball goes above. Once again, don't fly. Just go way back. Wait. The ball's still high. He might be going. Just turn and wait. All the way back here. And all of a sudden, their net is completely wide open. If you're fast, you should score this. But if you're not fast, I'm just gonna do that. Honestly, like, half of half of 2v2 at the low ranks is just letting people go. Because people, like, 2v2, it's so easy for the entire team to the enemy team to just overcommit and you to just get a free goal like for example this and my teammate's just gonna hit it to the side for no reason because he wants to go for an air dribble well why but it's okay because i'll just drive back and make a touch now they're gonna keep going for it so i'm just gonna keep turning back they're gonna keep going for it so i'm just gonna wait back it's gonna make a bunch of touches that don't really do much so i'm just gonna wait back And you can, you can practice while you're waiting for your teammates to do stuff. You can practice power slide turns. You can practice your wave dashes. Wave dashes are good. You can practice your wave dashes. Front flips. Onto the wall wave dashes. Even practice the half flips. <laughs> it's just I can't score. <laughs> All of it. Wait, 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 wait. He's going. He's still going into my corner. Let him throw it. And I just hit it away. Now look. I'm going to look to see where he is. My teammate's still here. So I can't really go. I'm just going to get the boost and then chill. If he lets me go, I'll go. I'm going to wait for him to challenge and then front flip it to the side. Now he's here. I get a 50. Be there. I'm going to just jump in the way. That way, don't give him any chance at getting a one-on-one -on -one with my teammate. My teammate drives ahead of me again. Once again, teammates are going to do that. So you just got to go back. When they drive in front of you, you just go back. Ball's here. Let's get a 50 and drive back. And those guys have way better mechanics than me, but we 4-0 them for game two. Final game, since these games are kind of like a little slower, a little boring. All right, final game of the video, game number three. We're going up against Sosa. Fa I'm 771, but it's still putting me up against a bunch of 400 MMR players, which is weird. I don't know. We're going up against Sosa Fades and JL Audio, two of which players in the lobby started AFK, but they're back now. Okay. All right. So we're just going to stay in net. 
front flip into the ball. My teammate wants to chase everything, so I just go all the way behind him. Just wait back here. Not really sure what's going to go on here. They might boom it away. My teammates are probably going to keep chasing this, so I'll just do my thing. Practice my half flips. Practice my wave dashes. This ball's going to make take a weird bounce off the wall. Kind of hard to deal with. I'm just going to go all the way around. And then boom it. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, I should just be driving to the kickoff. Sorry. Here, we're going to wait back. And just sit back post. The minute I see something start to happen, I kind of drive up. And I'm ready for it. I'm saving boost. Oh, I notice I don't have much boost here, so I'm going to pick up these pads. Notice how I'm weaving in and out of these ones in the middle here. And now I have a lot of boost. Once again, it's not very safe to go. My teammate still kind of wants to go, so I, I don't I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait. This bounce is kinda hard. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, my teammate wants to keep taking it. You will have to learn to respect me. That's okay. Expect a shot, just get back in net. He misses. Okay, great. He's probably gonna hit this, so just wait. Oh, he misses. And I don't really know what he's going to do here, but I'm just driving and I'm ready to go back. I'm not flipping. I'm not over committing in the corner. I don't know how this bounce is going to go, so I'm just waiting back. I'm just sitting here in net. Simple jump. Clear. And here's a key. Watch how I keep this bounce. Hit it when it bounces. I guess I get a fake there. But the key that you want to do is you, you want to make sure you time that bounce. Because when you have that bounce, you can add a pop, you can low 50, you can do whatever you want to it. But if you time the bounce, that's the most important thing. You can jump it up. You can, you can go again. That's level one. Just learn how to keep that bounce. Then you can start to incorporate like lateral movement and cuts and stuff. But for the starters, just, just learn how to get the bounce. And just a basic hit it forward and then shoot it on that. Any questions about how to get out of silver? Chat, I need your help here because I, I feel like my commentary is just stating the obvious. And I don't want to be that annoying guy that just says the same thing over and over again. But it's true. Sometimes we need to be reminded more than we need to be taught. Here, I'm just going to flip it over to the right. Hold power slide, drive backwards. Half flip. If you're faster, you can get back for that. If not, you will get scored on. I was playing too far up. That's why you always have to be the one behind your teammate. Don't let your teammate back alone. That's a mistake I made. Oh, they're not going. Teammates got that boost. I'll just play back. Don't know how this ball's going to bounce. Play center. Get in the net. Oh. Jump to try to get in the way. Go get boost and play back post. When you don't know what's happening, play back post. Gets it over there. Now the back post is over here. Aha. Uh -huh. It moves. So that's the plan. Ball's going to come center. He's probably going to miss. But I got it. Let's go. Is there a reason I didn't half flip earlier? Yeah, I probably should have. It would have been better. Take boost, drive around. It would have been better to half flip earlier, but I didn't because I assume that a plat or silver can't think that fast. It's not that automatic, let's say. Here, I'm just wait, 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 wait. Let him hit it away. Now here, I'm going to make my first touch to the side. Look at how my first touch is to the side. And I'm going to hit it to the side again. And now it's on this side. You want to get good at that as well as you get through. Being able to hit it one way, then the other way. Very useful. Ball's going to take a weird bounce, so I'm just going to get back. Wait for it to come center. Nobody will be here. And I get it. Honestly, like you just wait for an open net to come, and they will come. We break through silver. A little bit of a short episode. Not as much educational as probably once we get to diamond and champ. But for now, that was playing at silver rank.